At first look, it seems that 13-year-old Charles Hill lives a better than average life. He has his own bedroom and a computer. The apartment he lives in has plenty of furniture, air conditioning, multiple televisions, a full kitchen. And it's located in one of Chicago's affluent neighborhoods, Old Town. But take another look. Charles and his mother Betty Bailey live in mixed income public housing in the shadow of Cabrini Green. And while the high rise projects are coming down, replaced by low rise brick developments, not everything is as bright and shiny as it appears. Poverty still dominates the area, and the children walk a line between hope and fear. I've seen plenty of kids who, who live in Cabrini in a rough neighborhood and they need help. This summer, Charles joined a tutoring and mentoring program called Cabrini Connections. The program provides grade school and high school students with assistance in academics and in life. I start going because my teacher, she wanted me to learn more from my like math and algebra. And this place is a good place for tutoring and helping, and I know I'll learn. Dan Bassel founded Cabrini Connections in 1993, but his involvement with public housing residents began long before that. In the early 1970s, Basil worked for Montgomery Ward, whose corporate headquarters were located right next to Cabrini Green. Basil joined and eventually led a tutoring program through Montgomery Ward. Then in 1993, he left Montgomery Ward and founded Cabrini Connections. Our aim is that, what, and the promise we make, is when a seventh grader joins us, we say we're going to do everything we can that that seventh grader is started a job or a career by age 25. Basil recognizes there are children throughout the city who need assistance, but he focuses on Cabrini Green because it's where he started and where he feels he can be effective. The commitment it takes to stay connected to those kids is what a tutor and mentor program is all about. Charles is counting on that commitment to help him in the classroom through junior high and high school and even beyond that. I think they can help me in the future by like for if I want like after high school and I want to go to college, they can get me into a good college and even when I'm in high school, they can help me learn more with math, science, science anything. 17 year old LaFay Garth started coming to Cabrini Connections when she was 12 years old. She says the program has been instrumental in supporting her. It's a pretty positive environment that get us away from the negative stuff. I say I keep our time occupied doing the right thing that we should be doing keep us motivated to go into the right path. LaFay credits the program with helping her achieve her current academic standing. It's helped me maintain um, um, an A average in high school all four years and I will be graduating salutatorian of my class 2009. That kind of success is what Charles's mother wants for him. The program would be just an ideal thing for the kids in this community to participate in. They have a lot of things to participate in. Betty Bailey works weekdays from 5 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. as a custodian at the Merchandise Mart. She says her hours make it difficult for her to see, let alone inspire, her son. So she's grateful for the program. It's a blessing. Like I said, for, it's a blessing for me and for him. I'm really thankful. I'm really grateful for this. A blessing for some, maybe, but not for everyone. As active as the program is, its enrollment caps out at 80 students per year. That's just a fraction of the kids who need it. Basil says the lack of programs and outlets here is a glaring problem. Bottom line is right now there is a tremendously poor distribution of any kind of tutor mentor program in most of the high poverty neighborhoods of big cities like Chicago. There needs to be more um like tutoring places that can help kids stay off the streets and not be doing like anything like that can get them in trouble. But the Cabrini Connections plan for change and improvement is not possible without the help of hundreds. The problems that we face in this world, whether it be poverty, poor schools, terrorism, these are not simple problems. These are complex problems. They won't be sound, solved by sound bites. They won't be solved by short term involvement. Random acts of kindness won't make the problems go away. Participation for the kids in Cabrini Connections is free. The not-for-profit receives money through public grants and fundraising. Mentors and tutors are strictly volunteers. And Basil says without those volunteers, the kids of Cabrini would be left behind. Brian McCabe, Medill Reports.